Hello my friends, I'm Frankie and welcome to Club Foodie. The holidays are coming very soon and we all need gorgeous recipes to celebrate the event. From appetizers to elegant main courses and desserts, including snacks. One thing we might overlook is breakfast. And if your family is coming to visit and stay a few days, you definitely need a great dish like this one. In today's episode, I'll show you how to make my breakfast casserole. This is what I call a perfect dish when you have company over. It's very easy to prepare, plus you can make it in advance. We all need simple recipes during this crazy time of the year, right? So my friends, let's get cooking. The first ingredient we'll be looking after is the potatoes. After peeling and cutting them into pieces, we'll shred them. There's two ways of doing that. Either we take a box grater and use a large holes, or use a food processor, which is the one I'll be using. It's much faster, plus it's too early in the morning. I'm not quite awake yet. When we're done, we'll drop them on a clean dish towel, gather the corners just like we do when making latkes or ash browns, and hold the top tightly. As we can see, it's already wet, so we'll move on to the sink and squeeze it firmly to remove the excess moisture. We should end up with roughly three to three and a half cups of potatoes. Next, we'll transfer the shredded potatoes to a microwave safe bowl and cover tightly with cling film. We'll transfer to the microwave and cook for two minutes on high. A couple minutes later, we'll remove the bowl from the microwave, lift the plastic wrap. Now let's be careful to not get burned by the steam. Stir very well and return the bowl back to the microwave for another two minutes. We'll repeat these steps until they've been cooked for a total time of eight minutes. Meanwhile, we'll add milk to our eggs as well as Italian seasoning, which you can make from scratch by clicking on the top right corner of your screen. Some dried rosemary, ground Himalayan sea salt, and freshly ground black pepper. We'll beat the ingredients very well and set aside for now. Back to the potatoes. After being cooked for eight minutes, we'll take them out from the microwave, carefully lift the plastic wrap. Look at all the steam coming up, right? Give it another good stir, cover again with a cling film so they don't dry out, and let it sit while we start cooking the other ingredients. In a large skillet over medium heat, we'll add hot Italian sausage. Here I'm using my homemade recipe, so to get it, click on the top right corner of your screen. We'll break the meat into small pieces and cook until brown. It should take about 7 to 8 minutes. We'll transfer it to a bowl using a slotted spoon and set aside for now. To the skillet, we'll add red peppers and green peppers, but David and I prefer poblano, so either or, your choice. We'll saute the ingredients for three minutes, stirring constantly. Next, we'll add our sliced mushrooms and stir them into the mixture before seasoning with ground sea salt and freshly ground black pepper. Of course, we'll stir again and cook the mixture for another five minutes. Look at this. The mushrooms have absorbed the fat, which will give a ton of flavor to our casserole. To this, we'll add pressed garlic and saute for only one minute. Garlic can be tricky. If it's cooked too long, it can turn bitter. Now, in this recipe, garlic is optional. Some of you might not want the taste of it first thing in the morning. We love garlic, and it's good for us, so you'll be the judge if you want some in your casserole or not. 
When this is done, we'll remove from the heat and transfer the veggies to the meat. We'll also add our shredded potatoes and combine all the ingredients together. To this, we'll add two cups of cheese and give a good stir so it's well blended before adding our egg mixture. And of course, we'll stir once again making sure all the ingredients are well coated. We'll spoon the mixture into a three-quart baking dish generously greased and level it out with a spatula without pressing down too much. Just level, that's all. We'll evenly sprinkle on the remaining half a cup of cheddar cheese on top as well as sweet paprika. We'll then cover tightly with foil and at this point the dish can be stored in the fridge for the next morning or transferred to a 375 degree preheated oven. We'll bake for 30 minutes. When the half an hour is up, we'll uncover and return the dish for another 15 minutes or until a cake tester inserted in the center comes out clean. We'll remove from the heat and let it rest for 10 minutes before serving. And my friends, this is our breakfast casserole. This dish is packed with yumminess. Colorful, cheesy, and delicious, it's a great recipe to have on hand. The bonus with this is you can prepare it ahead of time and cook it the next morning. Absolutely perfect for when you have company over or hosting a brunch. I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit clubfoodie.com for ingredient amounts, directions, and more info. Until next time, my friends, bon appétit!